Hi everybody, today I have another jelly printing video for you and I have mixed myself a turquoisey paint. I will give you the recipe for this color in the description because I did not have any kind of um, similar color that was already pre-mixed um, so I had to do this on my own and I'm going to make different prints in my sketchbooks today because I still want to get them filled. They There are just a few pages left and yeah today I'm going to make some more. Um, these texture plates I'm using are made with stencils and I've used the Big Shot to emboss these papers. These are just the backing papers from our stencils which are quite heavy. You can use any heavyweight paper and emboss this with a stencil. I will give you the link to the blog post where I explain how to, to do this with a die cutting machine. And these texture plates are amazing to make patterns on the gel plate. And what I love about it is that I don't have to clean anything afterwards. And I also have the feeling they work better than the stencils um, do because of the paper. I think they pick up more colors so you get a better impression in the paint. I have used the organic three stencil for this pattern. And here I'm going in with another layer of color. I always wait a little bit in between to let the layers dry, not completely, just a little bit, so I don't smear everything when I go on top with another layer of paint. But I think um, jelly printing is kind of an experimental process. Uh, just try out different things um, and play, and often you get really interesting results on your papers. The sketchbooks I'm using for printing are from Kunst und Papier. They are uh, in the size of A4, which um, is perfectly for this gel plate. And the paper is, I think, 160 GSM. It's usually a drawing sketchbook. And I found out this paper works quite well on the gel plate. Um, what you can't do with this paper is let it sit on your plate and let everything dry and then remove it. This will tear your paper and this always I think depends on the paper what you're using if it tends to tear or if not. I already tried marker and bristol paper and that both did not work. I often use usual printer paper that works usually quite fine and what I also like to use is rice paper and these sketchbooks. I'm going to share photos of the prints that I'm doing today at the end of this video and you will also find photos over on my blog so you can have a look at the finished prints. I will also give you the colors I'm using today and I will write them in the video description because it's quite a while ago that I made this video and I can't remember all the colors that I've been using. I'm using the same stencil pattern again because I'm a big fan of this pattern. I think it's quite interesting and a nice organic shape. It's inspired by a desert, I would say. And I think it makes great backgrounds. Also, when you emboss this, it makes a, an amazing um, card background. I always print the front and back sides of the papers in this sketchbook. I don't mind if I have then to decide which one I wanted to use. Um, and I think for this paper I made a tutorial just recently and I will link up that video in the info cards. The print is quite simple but it picked up all the leftover fragments from the plate, not all of them, but a lot, and this gave me a really interesting texture.
For this next pattern, I decided to keep it still simple and just use the, uh, I think it's the crisscross stencil or is it the new one, the crossed? I can't remember now. Um, they are pretty similar. Um, I just I made another stencil with crosses because I really like that pattern and the crisscross stencil is almost sold out and I thought I would make a similar one which is different but not too different and I really like this one I um, did not push the paper down um, very heavy because I wanted to have some left paint on the plate because this is always the most interesting um, texture you can get and um, then when you have these leftover fragments, I usually use some kind of complementary colors on top um, to bring in more contrast. And here you can see why I really love the complementary colors. I think that's just so vibrant and a wonderful background. One of my favorite colors, no matter if it's in my sketchbook or um, in mixed media with collages and art journaling, is the neon pink. I really love this as an accent when as an accent when I'm drawing and I also love it for collage papers and on mixed media backgrounds. Um, I think it's just a super beautiful color. I'm mixing it here with the Naples yellow and that gives me such a vibrant and bright orangey um, uh, orangey mix. I'm using the big oval stencil as a texture plate here. I really love this one as a background. Another favorite color of mine at the moment is the Venetian Rose from Amsterdam. It's um, a bit of a dirty pink and I really like that. I think it's such a pretty spring color.
With these texture plates, once they have some more color on them or dried acrylic paint, um, they do not pick up the color that good. They pick it up and it works just fine. But what um, a positive thing is that because of um, the acrylic that is already dry underneath, it transfers more of the color from one area to another. So you get, um, you have a little bit more variety what you can do with them. I would say over time when the color gets thicker and thicker on the texture plate, you might have to make yourself some new ones. But as this is just paper, it's no problem at all. And it keeps your stencils clean. So um, they will also last longer. The only thing you can't really do with the texture plates is make that pattern directly complete on the gel plate by brayering over the stencil. This is the only thing that doesn't work but I have to say that I usually don't really like these prints where the pattern is so perfect. I prefer prints where I have some messy textures on the background. The light colors I'm using often on top or as a last layer um, are usually not a white color. I mainly use um, some off-white colors like the Naples yellow, greenish and reddish or the Titan Puff light because I think that looks a bit better most of the times compared to a really white color.
Here I'm using that big triangle stencil um, as a texture plate and it's quite a fresh one so it did not transfer a lot of the paint from the turquoise side to the empty side but that is the, the thing I mentioned previously that over time you have more paint on your texture plate and then it will transfer the paint more easily from one area to another. I now want to try out the stencil itself on the gel plate using um, the same color and this time I wanted to have that pattern completely on my gel plate. I let this dry about a minute or so before I go on top with the next color. Um, just because I wanted to have a more crisp pattern and not everything smeared. And I'm mixing that with the neon pink on the plate. And I did make quite a mess with my tube. And uh, this is what I what I meant previously that I am not a big fan of this um, perfect pattern on a background because um, often I would not use it but this might be interesting when you're making cards and use it as a background paper for a clean and simple card. I wanted to experiment a bit more with the stencils themselves on the gel plate just to see how different they will work compared to the texture plates. Here I'm working with the Marks number 2 stencil and I will give you all the links in the video description.
This time I made almost the same pattern with one with the stencil and one with that embossed stencil. And um, let's see which part of the print you like better. I'm really curious to know what you prefer. Um, I do this print quite quickly to have some leftover texture. And I have to say the, I think the part with the texture plate works better and it looks also better. Um, I worked quickly to have that leftover paint on the plate because I really love when I have these um, fragments going on on the next prints and I'm going in with a kind of a complementary color so I have a higher contrast when I'm pulling the print. And for the last print today, I am using the texture plate again because I really prefer this compared to the stencils themselves. Um, I'm using the big triangles again and I had some leftover fragments in turquoise on that plate. And this gave me some really nice um, textures on this print and I really like the color combo here with the orangey mixture and then with the turquoise and the pink I get some kind of a violet shade 
um, and something a bit green with the yellow and the turquoise. I think it's a really nice background. But as I said, I will give you a flip through all the prints at the end, all the ones I've done today. And I've also linked up the last video I did um, in the top right corner info box. And I have linked all the supplies in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video today and I wish you a lovely weekend. Bye.